I'm going to select the uh, Contoso presentation, uh, which is the proposal that we we're looking at in the last example. And then this is going to go away and now create me a pitch deck directly from this proposal. Now, I probably would want to give it a bit more direction. So what you will tend to find with PowerPoint is that it will create way more content, way more slides than you probably actually need, unless you really give very specific guide rails about what you do want it to include and what you don't want it to include. Now, it will also pop up in the chat. It's a bit small in this example, so it's hard to see, but it will show you in the chat what it's planning on creating. So if, say, for example, it was halfway through the planning and you thought, actually, this is going in the wrong direction, I don't want it to... to continue you can choose to get it to stop and you can see a little progress bar at the bottom of powerpoint as well and by selecting that you can choose to um, stop uh, it at any point in time then what it will do is it'll create all those slides now if i wanted this branded i could have started this um, off in a templated branded design if i wanted to um, or um, I can always choose to apply colors and uh, brand palettes to it afterwards. But you can see it's created all the slides I need. It's got the agendas. It's got the introduction, the key workshop overview attendees. It's pulled through images. It's pulled through text. It's pulled through tables um, and so much more. And in fact, actually, some of these images that you see here were not in that proposal document. It's actually used its kind of own initiative and used some of the stock image library to bring that through. And as you can see, I can then easily apply my own images and my own brand on top of it as well.